Welcome back to another video. This is the second video in our basic Excel training course or Excel tutorial. In this video, first of all, let's talk about highlighting. In the previous video, when I deleted a number of text add numbers in sales, I highlighted and pressed the Dell key, D E L, to highlight cells um, or multiple cells in Excel. Simply click and drag. Okay, so click and drag. And then once you let go, it will stay put to where the cursor was. So there we go, those cells are highlighted. Let's talk about copying cells. You can copy information from cells to other cells to save you time doing it manually. So say we wanted to create a number of cells horizontally across here that stated sale, um, S-A-L-E. So if we enter sale, you will need to enter it twice next to each other. So sale and sale, click and drag, highlight both cells, and then you'll have this little black box in the bottom right corner. If you click that and drag, you can then copy that text across. You can also drag down and copy again. Now you can see how much time that would save you. If you didn't know how to copy into other cells, you would have to have done that manually. And that's one way you can copy using Excel, the drag, drag in the black box. You can also highlight the cells you want to copy. Right click. Click copy. Highlight the cell where you would like the copied cells pasted. Right click and click paste. Okay, so let's do that again to copy these ones this time. Right click, copy, that copies the cells, and then you paste them where you would like them to show. So let's do column R, right click. You may just have paste or you may have paste options. Just choose the first paste option. If you hover over, it should say paste and then in bracket P. And there we go, that has been copied. Let's highlight these cells and delete them, click Dell. Now there's another way you can copy cells which would also save you a lot of time. And say you want to enter numeric numbers on the top here in row three, um, but you don't want to just enter number one continually or number two, you may want to enter one, two, three, four, five, six, and the numbers go up gradually. There may be a number of reasons why you want to do that, but this is just an example. Once again, you'll need to do two cells. If you click one, and in the next box, click two. Highlight those cells. Use the black box and drag across. You'll see three will appear, four, five, six, and you can go as far as you like. Let's go to column V. You'll see our numbers appear automatically. You can also do this with say dates if you wanted the months to appear at the side of your cells so row 5 january row 6 feb you always need to do two highlight the cells use the black box and drag down and let's go down to december and there we go it's good to experiment with this week space one. Week space two. Highlight those cells and drag across. You'll see we have week three, week four, week five, and so forth. I 
I'm now going to show you how to edit cells further. In the previous video, I showed you how to change the font and the size of that font. But let me now show you how to change the color. Let's highlight a cell. Somewhere near your font and font size, you'll have a letter with a bar of color underneath. That bar of color is generally red or black. If you click the drop down arrow next to that box, you'll have a range of colors you can choose from. Let's do red. You'll see that our number is now red. Let's do week one, so H6. And let's make this purple. That is now purple. You can highlight a number of cells and color the text in the same way. Orange. Green. And that's using this box here. There's a box to the left of the font color. And this is the fill color. Let's highlight a cell. Click on the downwards arrow next to the bucket with the color underneath. And let's choose yellow. This option changes the box color or the cell color. It's the fill color of the cell. We've made that yellow. If we highlight a number of cells, click the downwards arrow, we can make that orange. We can have a fill color of green and a text color of red. So, so far we have covered how to enter information into a cell, how to change the font of that information, the text or the number, how to change the font size, how to change the color. I've shown you how to delete information that's in a cell, how to copy that information. Something that wasn't covered is we can delete part of the information in a cell. If we enter the word January, and let's say we misspelled the word January, like I've done in this example. Instead of deleting that information and starting again, we can simply double click on the cell. You'll have a cursor appear in the cell. You can move the cursor to where you need to make the correction. Use your keypad, delete the necessary information and click enter. Before we move on to the next video, let me just show you how to zoom in and out of Excel. Down at the bottom right here, we have a zoom out, the minus and a zoom in. By default, it's generally set at 100% and most users of Excel use 90% or 100%. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Click on the link to watch the next video. Thank you for watching.